Today, I'm gonna start with number 16 of the logo design challenge. And then I have a little bit of an interesting project. My friend is working on a super cool comic book and she asked me to help make a little um, credits page for, for the beginning of the comic book. And it's going to be in an interesting style, like the menu of a restaurant from the comic book. But instead of like menu stuff, it'll be um, names of, of people who are involved in the project. So that'll be really fun. Let's get started with today's logo design challenge. That's right, that's how all normal people say it. This one comes from Kevin Robinson. You know you know the images, the profile images for all of these people? That's definitely not that's definitely not their names. Now I'm just curious, who are these real who are they really? Anyways, uh, let's just pretend this one comes from Kevin Robinson. Hi there. Sharp has been creating high quality cooking knives for over a decade. We're known for our craftsmanship, quality, and outstanding cuts. We provide a variety of knives from chef to bread. And, <laughs> and we need a new logo to represent our quality. We'd like our logo to be black and white. No colors, please. We like logos that focus on minimalism and feature very subtle details. Thanks so much, Kevin Robs Robinson. Sharp. Okay, Kevin, or whatever your real name is, I'll get started on your Sharp logo right and now, <laughs> let's go. Yo, you guys better be super impressed with this logo. <laughs> if you're not, then uh, take it up with my lawyer accountant. <laughs> I wanted to make a, uh, I want to make a text logo that looked like the shape of a, a chef's knife. So, I found some cool modern sans serif font because part of the prompt was that they liked modern minimal minimal stuff so i uh, i found you know just a solid solid font that's kind of bold and i made them all caps oh yeah i wanted to slant text in illustrator if you know how to do that like italicizing without italicizing it, like slanting it to the right, please let me know, because I have no idea. So I usually, if I want to, I take, I take the text into Photoshop, and then I slant it there, and then I screenshot that, bring it back into Illustrator, and vectorize it again so that it's still a vector. Yeah. So this whole time, I'm just basically working on how do I make the cutout of these letters look like a knife but with still leaving enough information in the text because i at one point i tried a more sharp version and the p just did not look good i actually ended up because you have to leave enough of the tail of the of a p to make it look like that it's still a p i've never said p so many times in my life in a row anyways so i had to add a little front tip part to the P and then I, I tried to only cut off minimal amount of the tail. And this part was just trying to figure out what kind of what kind of details I could add to this bad boy. And I was getting to a point I was pretty pleased with it. Pretty pleased indeed. But the S still bugs me and there's still a, a couple things that I feel like maybe could be better. Um, mainly like spacing between letters and things, but here is el final version. Well, for now, but um, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Uh, do you hate it? <laughs> do you think it's <laughs> Okay, let me know. <laughs> See you. Sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. <laughs> Project number seven, two. <laughs> okay, if you, wanna, if you wanna take a look at the comic, check the link below. Um, it's the empties. Super cool. The junk bar. So I wonder if there's a way I can just take that font for the top of the menu. I, I'd, I'd have to like readjust it so that it's straight. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. I like this texture here. So, um, let me take a look at some of the other pages. The drawing style is super awesome. A lot of texture. Very cool, very cool. Hopefully, I'd really like to replicate that, but I'm certain most of it was done with traditional methods. Oh, this is cool. 
So I think my goal is to try to try to take some of the texture from other pages and incorporate it into this one without losing any quality. So let's uh that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's get let's get crack a lacking. And probably this version will not be the final version. This will be just like my first go at it, and then I can show my friend Kristen and say, hey, what do you think? And then hopefully get some feedback and then and then make the changes and then try again. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. I gotta get going. Let's let's go. Let's do this thing. Oh. Okay, Pop Tarts, this is where I'm stopping for the night. I've got a general layout of where I want to put stuff, some things, some poppy poppier fingers. <laughs> but I'll, I'll probably come back tomorrow. What else? We can schlang it. You know? Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Have a good night. Stay awesome, possum. And I'll see you later. Gerbil. Alligator. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh.